One of the things I love about the roof repair game is the ability to be a little bit creative because every roof repair is different. We have to know why something is going wrong and then we need to come up with a solution that is creative but also has to be limited by the first principles of what is it exactly that we are trying to do here. And once we boil things down to first principles, then we can be as creative as we like and come up with solutions that actually work. Now, take for instance this problem that we had. The client had a leak that was quite persistent and during the recent storm, the leak got larger and he put holes in his ceiling to let the water out. And we went up there to try to figure out why this was happening. And this is the creative solution that we came up with, all based on first principle thinking. This is a strange repair we have to do. There is a copper pipe that is for a solar hot water system that's coming from the solar hot water panel. And it's coming in. It actually goes under the tiles and then goes into the ceiling cavity. And what has happened is that the water course has got blocked up. The water has gone onto the secondary water course. And you notice the secondary water course stops right there. Then the water is dribbled onto the pipe and then run along the underside of the pipe and then drip down into the ceiling causing the leak. Now this pipe's fairly set in its ways, wants to stay there, so we can't just simply replace this tile because the pipe is going to want to keep coming back here and interfere with the water course and maybe break the water course in the future. So how are we going to do this repair? We're going to go back to first principles for this repair. Number one, if the water course wasn't broken, we won't have a leak. So the purpose of this repair is to put something in there to duplicate the broken water course. The other thing that we've got here is we've got copper so if there's any steel material in touch with the copper it's going to cause the steel to corrode and long term the steel will just rust and we're back to the same problem so the the challenge we've got is we have to put a steel plate in here because we've got to bring we've got to bring the plate up to there upstream of the secondary water course because we need to catch that water when it dribbles off and then drain it all the way down the tile. So we've cleaned it all off and let's see how we're going to do this. All right we've done a little bit of preparation work and what we've done is we've put a piece of fast flesh it's kind of upside down because the sticky side is sticking to the underside of the tile and it's gone past the secondary water course. And we've got a plate that is going to go underneath right? and the main reason for the plate is to support this flashing because the flashing is quite flexible and if there's nothing underneath to actually hold it up it's going to droop over and it's not going to be of any good because the water will just leak over the drooping flashing. So that's the purpose of the metal plate. And now the challenge is how do we protect the metal plate against the copper pipe. You can see that the fast flesh here is quite versatile. So we put a bit of fast flesh on our color bond plate and that now we have a separation layer between 
the metal plate and the copper pipe. And all we've got to do now is lower this tile onto our plate and the job's almost done. So there, this is the completed job. Let's have a look at a bit of detailing here. We've deliberately left a tail hanging out so that we get the water to dribble past this tile and continue. You can see that we've got our supporting flashing for the fast flash. The fast flash is stuck to the underside of the tile and we have now a working secondary water course. So water will initially run on the primary water course and in future when we do get debris caught in here it's going to go onto the secondary but then the secondary is now intact so the water will run along here and then onto there and then out and we've eliminated this leak that's run backwards along this pipe and into the ceiling so all we've got to do now is put the tile back and uh, that's a tricky job done so you can see that we love to be creative in what we do but it's got to be based on first principles and once we know what the first principles are and this is based on scientific knowledge then we can come up with really creative solutions to solve the problem.